I'd like to show you one other thing that uses trees, and then I'll come to, to look at the cubes as, as to end with. <clears throat> and this is actually a practical problem. Supposing you've got a, a structure, a, a framework structure, uh, and it's made of, of rods. So these are all rods with, with gaps in the middle, and they've all got pin, pin joints, so you can, you can you know, slew them around. But you can stop them slewing around by, putting, by bracing some of the, some of the, some of the squares. You put, if you put the diagonal, and that fixes that as a square, that can't distort. OK? Uh, and, and this one can't distort either. So whenever you've got a, a diagonal brace, that fixes that square as a square, but the others may, may or may not distort. Now, if you're designing buildings, it's quite a good idea to design them so they don't fall down. Uh, so the question is, can you tell in advance whether these things are rigid or not, or whether they can distort? Now, these are quite simple ones. These are only four by four. Uh, when we set assignments to open university students, we generally tend to set 10 by 10 ones, uh, which are much more complicated, but the principle is exactly the same. Uh, it, it, but it's not obvious, is it? In fact, it's the case that the first one does distort, but the second one is rigid. And how can, you, how can you decide in advance whether it's going to be rigid or not? What you do is you draw a graph. In the trade, we call it a bipartite graph. And what we do is we, we draw a graph, and on the left, we have the rows. On the right, we have the columns. And whenever there's a brace, we put in a line. So A1 is braced, so there's a line from A to 1. C, C3 is braced, so there's a line from C to 3. Uh, here, um, B2 is braced, so there's a line from B to 2, and so on. So you, you've got this. And it turns out to be the case that if the graph is all connected up like this, then it's rigid. And in fact, if it's a tree structure, if there's no cycles, then it turns out to be um, a minimal one. You can't remove any braces and still have it rigid. Whereas if it breaks into two, and this one actually breaks into two, you can see the two colors, and then that tells you that in fact it's, um, it tells you that it's not rigid, it can distort. A lovely, very simple idea. Uh, I, you, you can think of it as recreational, or you can think of it as a serious problem. Uh, but again, it's, it's interesting how simple and unexpected the solution is.